and lo and behold here's the armature and the magnet here is fractured. This is a Black & Decker 3.5 horsepower electric mower MM3525 that is 20 years old. Finally kind of succumbed to running about half speed this morning when I was using it the bush hole pog a big field and at first I thought the bushings were dry on either end I oiled those I thought the brushes were dragging I undid and looked at the brushes they're still usable and I undid the bolts and lo and behold here's the armature and the magnet here is fractured. I've had this happen on one that went underwater in Katrina. This particular one's 20 years old and I really abused the hell out of it. Uh, what can happen, it can just overheat, the glue can debond, and it'll start to rub. And the characteristics of this, the reason I'm doing this video, is all of a sudden it'll act like it's running on half speed. And that's generally because a bearing can be uh, sort of dry, but this had a little bit of a squeaking noise. If you just re uh, unplug it and you rotate the uh, blade by hand, make sure it's unplugged, but you'll have a little bit of squeaking noise. So I bombed the heck out of the two bushing ends. Still didn't go away, so my, I suspected the armature, and I actually put some little bit of oil on this, which you shouldn't do, but just to, is a telltale test. I can wipe it off with a rag, and that didn't make it go away. And one thing is this was getting very hot when I ran the thing, even without a blade on there. And what it was is the ceramic here. Actually, it'll still run, but it's actually rubbing on the armature. There's another way it'll run at half speed, which theoretically can happen if one of the diodes is blown on this full wave bridge. I've never, I've read about that, I've never had that happen. I've had about five of these mowers in the last 30 years. A couple I've bought used, a couple I've bought as spares. But the way this works, you got 110 coming in, it's rectified to DC. This is the positive side, the negative side. So this is basically a DC brush motor running uh, just like a skill saw or an electric drill runs on DC here's the magnet is debonded come undone and so it's rubbing still runs but you're gonna burn the motor up so uh, if you got another motor sometimes you can swap these parts around this kinda of, the part of the cost of this whole assembly is it's probably 80 to 100 bucks and you're approaching what the mowers were so if you got several of these I have in the past actually put armatures on stators and swapped them out on different units this is actually 12 and a half amp model there's a wimpier one they made in the past it's six to seven and those physically will not match up but if you the ones I've seen that are 12 13 amps generally the stator magnets are the same and the armatures, you can swap them all around.